And we want to get to developing news right off the top tonight. Video of the aftermath of a shooting in Grand Rapids. An SUV on its roof and the driver shot. That scene unfolding in the area of Lafayette and Sycamore this evening, but the shooting happened near the intersection of Ionia and Putnam. That's where we find 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks. Leon, what have you learned? Well, Brian, the shooting suspect is still at large. The shooting victim seriously injured at a local hospital. This is where the bizarre chain of events started just down this street. In fact, investigators cleared here just a short time ago. They tell us a man was shot in a home there, jumped out of the second story window into an SUV, drove away where he crashed on Lafayette. Just a big crash, a big old boom. Car rolled Lafayette in Sycamore. More than a crash, the driver, the victim of a shooting. We just thought it was an accident until he said he had been shot. Neighbors rushed to help on a cold winter night in night shoes. First responder seen here. We pulled him far away from the car and he started saying he was bleeding from the chest. He was shot. I just told him to keep his eyes open and keep looking at me. The Samaritan nervous, but not for himself. I didn't know if he was going to make it or not. Sirens in the distance. Police rolled to the southwest side, Putnam and Ionia. The SWAT team fully armored surrounding a home there. Turns out that is the scene of the shooting. Police demanded anyone inside out. The house turned up clear. More than a dozen units staged nearby for this situation. Situation still under investigation tonight. But for now, kudos to the man in the plaid slippers who thought first to help. I know if it happened to me, I would like somebody to help me. Now that victim crashing just a few blocks away from St. Mary's Hospital. Tonight he remains in the hospital. His condition not known. Anyone with information on the shooting is asked to call police. Reporting live on the southwest side of Grand Rapids, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.